What's up guys, it's Valhalla here. Um, we'll try something a little bit different today. Um, most of y'all seen on the channel, it's not just gaming, even though that's what the name applies, uh, Valhalla Gaming. That might be changed here shortly, but it's just about fandom in general. So that's gaming, movies, comics, comic cons, uh, collectible toys, you know, anything that is considered a fandom that you can go to a convention and stuff for so that we also got D, &D that we used to do that we're hopefully going to start picking up picking back up every other wednesday but i want to try something different um i'm i'm going to be unboxing the brand new samsung s22 ultra aka the 22 note um, but i just purchased a pair of shoes i have a problem a shoe problem i like to collect shoes and stuff like that but i'm very picky uh, if i happen to come across a pair i like i buy them um particularly Jordans and Air Forces, but I don't like all styles of Jordans. I don't like all colors of Jordans. Um, there's some styles I don't of Jordans I don't like at all. But I was at the mall in Bloomington, Indiana the other day on Sunday, and they had a pair of new 91 Flight Clubs that I saw, which I already had three pairs of Flight Clubs, uh, like an all gray with a little bit of white, and this camera won't focus for nothing. But uh, all gray with a little bit of white, a kind of a white and purple um, color, a lot with like light teal blue, and then I got the black with a little bit of gold accent. So I was in the mall the other day, I saw this pair. Unfortunately, they didn't have my size in stock, and this camera needs to stay focused because I'm not even moving that much. But unfortunately, they didn't have my size in stock, and for some reason, they wouldn't even try to order it online for me, so I had to like come home and order it. So if anybody lives in around Bloomington, Indiana, the Foot Locker there, if you've been in there, looks like it's going out of business, and I can see why. The two employees, I had to walk up to them to get help. Nobody came to me or anybody else in the store and asked if they're doing good, if they need to check out a pair of shoes, what size they wear, so on and so forth. And their selection on the wall used to be like, there we go, used to be like this big, and now it's like that big. For the guys at least so but ordered them online i actually ordered them sunday night and it's now tuesday i got them about 11 o'clock on tuesday so i mean that's with monday being a holiday too that's actually really good i was able to use my military discount to verifying but i happen to have a coupon thanks to capital one and i think honey one of those two found a coupon where i saved even more money with free shipping so here we go, start the unboxing without cutting my hand or my fingers. Normally I use a pocket knife. Oop. Yep, you see now, right? That was close. This box is tight. Like a prom night. Ugh, there we go. Cut away. If I can even get there. Nope. They, ain't even, they really got this one tight. Okay. Let me just rip it open this way. Set those down before something happens. God. <sighs> I'm just going to have to try to start doing this with my GoPro. Which is unfortunate because I was going to do multi-angles when it came to the phone. Um, with the GoPro and this camera. But this camera just won't stay focused. So I'm going to have to turn autofocus off maybe. Find the right focus. But hey, this was a test. So here we go. The box, for the most part, is in decent shape. You can see where there's a few creases, like along the edges and stuff like that, and pressure being added. Black and gold box, size 10 and a half, number 23 right there, as you can see. Yeah, it's the Jordan Flight Club 91s. I'm not going to say the color, because you'll see in here in a second, but these are the brand new ones that ain't been out that long. All right. Open up the box. You got your white and gold 23 papers. All right, here it is. Come on, camera focus. Uh, uh, there we go. The black and greens. One thing I like about these is the material. Um, the other flights I have were a sway material, so you have to be very careful with getting them dirty and keeping them clean and getting them wet and stuff like that. But this material is more of a... Uh, Gore-Tex, I believe. Reminds me of Gore-Tex jackets from when I was in the Army. But it's more of a Gore-Tex. The stitching is still stitching here. Um, everything here is normal. You know, it's got the, 
the kind of bluish white. I don't know what kind of color you call that. Like gum accents here. It's got the green and black there. All the design is the same there. Got the green with the white. But overall, just the material. It's one reason why I picked these up because it's not the suede. So these are, in my opinion, are more of an everyday shoe. Um, with the suede, it's it's more of a casual style. You know, be careful where you wear it, where you go. Uh, watch where you step, all that good stuff. So pull out the cardboard thing. Make sure yep, there's nothing in it. But it's, you can see on the inside, let me stretch this open a little bit. So if you can see on the inside, it's the basic design. Uh, you got your what wraps around your ankles here. It's separate from up here. Got the Jordans. Got the sticker. Smell clean and new. So there is the left shoe. That's the left shoe. And then we're getting here. Unwrapped once again. And uh, good. They gave us the right shoe. So got the matching right shoe. There you go. Uh, these retail for $130. People already been picking them up and reselling them for, I think I've seen the cheapest resale at $180. So if you're able to get these and you want these, definitely uh, check your store. If not, footlocker.com. Stay away from StockX and um, all those other shoe places where people buy these shoes up and then try to make an easy $50 to $200 profit. These just came out. I mean, Honestly, there's no reason they're not collectors yet. They're, they're I don't think there's any significant value added onto them yet. I mean, like I said, they just came out, but people are already trying to buy them up and resell them and get the stores and online out of stock. That way, they have the supply and demand. So I haven't tried them on yet. Obviously, I just took them out the box. But if they're anything like my other pairs. These are very comfortable. The Flight 91s. Uh, they're very similar to. Y'all gonna kill me and butcher me if I get this wrong. I'm gonna say the Retro 3s. Because, very quickly, these are Retro 4s. Doesn't say anything in the tag. But, so I think the ones that are similar to these are Retro 3s. The biggest difference, they have like here where the hole is. That hole right there. There's a bubble on its cover. It's like kind of bubbledish. But I really like these a lot better. I just like the style of them. Uh, so, and if you wear like accent socks or no socks at all, it kind of gives it a cleaner taste, I think, personal opinion. But yeah, that's the unboxing of the new Flight 91s, black and green, Gore-Tex material. So uh, don't forget to like, subscribe, check out the S22 Note or Ultra, whichever one you want to call unboxing coming soon. And hopefully I'll have this camera fixed because I'm tired of it going in and out and being all fuzzy and blurry and everything. Catch you in the next one.